Today, we're making giant LED lollipops that'll look perfect in your Christmas or Candyland display. These lollipops range in size from 6.5 to almost 8 feet tall, and all the materials and items I used are shown in the video and linked in the description below. So join me for this awesome Christmas tutorial. To begin, I've created a wooden apparatus that makes rolling and wrapping lollipops a breeze. Definitely advise everyone to make one of these. We only need 2 inch by 3 inch wood and you need to cut 3 pieces of this wood at 20 inches a piece. We need 5 3 inch screws and we need a few 1 and half or 2 inch screws for, for the side wall. We need our drill, we need a measuring tape and we need a dock cleat. So, I've already pre-drilled some holes, but this is how it's gonna go. Let me show you really quickly how we're gonna assemble this. So right here we put in a screw on one of them. You can pick whichever one you want. Measure seven inches from the bottom. Put a screw right in there, one of your three inch screws. That's where we're gonna put one of the ends of the rope, just like that. Then, right in the middle of the board, we're going to do this. Just like that. Super easy. Then we get our screws that we have, our, our three inch screws, and we go right in here, two screws on the bottom, two screws on this bottom, and just like that, we have our apparatus. Super simple. This is gonna help us wind up the lollipop. So why do we have the rope? The rope over here is gonna help us hold the lollipop while it's drying with our hot glue. So let's screw this in really quickly. So then we grab our dock cleat, just like this, and we're gonna put in a screw right there, just like that. So then, while we're wrapping the lollipop, we can put the rope over and then just attach it like this so it doesn't move. Now, I said this one's three and a half feet, but as the lollipop grows, you might realize that you might need four feet of rope. So it's really up to you to determine how big your lollipop is gonna be. If you're using four or more pool noodles, this rope will need to be about four and a half feet long. If you're using just two uh, pool noodles, you can get away with two or two and a half foot rope. I wanted to take a quick moment to mention the first book I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. It's rated for kids ages two to six years old, and it follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. If anyone wants to support me or read it to their little ones, go check it out, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. So, now that we have our apparatus, we can begin wrapping our pool noodles with duct tape. You can get any color duct tape. This brand of 3M duct tape comes in about a dozen different colors, which I absolutely love. I have all of them. So, we're just gonna grab our duct tape and we're going to grab our pool noodle. I'm gonna be using red tape, so I'm using a white noodle. And in an angle, just like this, you want to start wrapping it. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then keep going down. Perfect. And once you're done, you make sure you go over it so that all of it is making contact. And now, we're gonna do several more of these, and once we're done, we have to connect them together at the base. Okay, so now we've taped all our pool noodles up. Now we need to join them. And what I like to do is find the same shape that's going on and then try to do it like this. So, I always use hot glue. I put a bunch of hot glue right there. I press them together, and I can hold them in place for about a minute or I could get somebody else to wrap it with tape because we do need to wrap it with some red tape. So I could do that and that's probably what I'm gonna do right now. But very important, 
Some people have pointed out that there is a method to join pool noodles using a heat gun. So let me explain why I don't do it with this method. And that's because when I, when I apply heat over here, it does melt it, but it deforms this end of the pool noodle, which we want it to be nice and smooth. So when it deforms it, it doesn't look really good over here. There is a method though of fusing pool noodles together, but I never use it here. If you try it out, you're, see, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's just gonna deform it too much. I don't like it. So I always use the hot glue method and then wrap it with some tape for reinforcement. Okay, I just realized that my camera wasn't filming, but what I did is I put some hot glue, generous amount, and I'm just folding it in on itself, being very careful, just like this. So as we do that, we keep moving along, putting more hot glue, just like that, generous amounts, and carefully, again, carefully rolling it. Let's push it back into this, just like so. And then we get our rope. And just like this, we'll hold it down, just like that. So that this right here can take a couple minutes to harden. You don't have to hold it. And that's the, that's the thing that I disliked about lollipops before, that you always had to hold it down, wait for it to dry, continue rolling. And like this, we'll let it rest for a minute or two, and then we'll undo the rope and continue doing the wrapping of the lollipop. All right, after a few minutes, let's take this off and let's continue. We pull this through just like that. And let's add some more hot glue. Begin to wrap it. Make sure you're keeping this nice and straight, nice and flat like that. Bam, right there. Now we can continue going because we, we're good right now. And this is what we have once it's completely done. We're just leaving it wrapped. This was super simple. And we'll just wait a few minutes until it's finally done. And once it's done, we have our first lollipop. And then we can begin putting the LED lights on this. To attach the lollipop stick to our lollipop, we're using PVC pipe. Now this one is one inch in diameter, but you can also use the three quarter inch one. I just think the one inch looks better from afar. So you can cut your PVC pipe to whatever height you want. You want it to be a few feet off the ground, go for it. You want it to be 10 feet, you cut it as long as you want. So now that we have this, we are going to put the, essentially this is the lollipop stick, we're gonna put it over here where the end of this pool noodle is joined right there. So we're gonna go right through and we need to go in two or three PVC pipes. Because, I'm sorry, two or three pool noodles. We don't want to stick this to the outside like this. We want it to go inside just like that. So what we need to do is use our hot knife. Now I love this hot knife. I use it season after season. It's inexpensive. They sell it at Harbor Freights. I'm going to link it below. So what we're going to do is once it gets really hot, we're going to stab the pool noodles all as far as we can go, making a little hole for the PVC pipe. So let's start this off like this. Make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. Bam, just like that really quickly. Just like this. And you can turn it ever so slightly like that. Perfect. And there we have the hole. We're just gonna make it a little bit bigger to ensure that we can fit our PVC pipe but yeah, super simple. Then we're going to push the PVC pipe inside and we're done with the lollipop stick. All right, and just like that, we've put it through. So if we wanted to cover the white right over here, we could easily just use some paint or just apply some tape right there, but I did it on the side that won't be visible. So there you go. 
you can't see it from this side and these letterings, you can just turn it around like this. I've actually spray painted these before, which is super easy. You just have to clean the pipe to make sure it's nice and clean and then spray paint it to get rid of this. You can also use acetone to remove it, but it takes a while. So I just spray paint them white before putting it in and bam, just like that, it is sturdy and solid, ready to go. All right, now that we have our lollipop on its side, we're going to put this flexible LED tube light all around the spiral. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna put some hot glue, we're gonna hold it down and just go around it like this, all the way around and hopefully it looks really nice. So a couple things I wanted to touch on. This is the second lollipop we're doing, but I wanted to show you a little bit more detail of how I wrap it with the LED lights. But first, I have here Gorilla Tape. Now I use this to stabilize the lollipop. So I'll wrap it once this way and then once that way, just once all the way around, all the way around this way, so that it just maintains the shape better. Hot glue doesn't do that great in the outdoors, but we're gonna cover this with some cellophane just to prolong the life. Some of the lollipops that I've made, I've had for three or four years, and I always wrap them with cellophane after I'm done, and it protects them a little bit better. But anyways, I found an easier way to do the LED lights. Before I showed you that I used hot glue and then I used some packaging tape, but this time it's different. We're gonna obviously follow the curves of the lollipop, but as we go like this, as we start doing this, we're gonna get pieces of tape, maybe two or three inches, and we're going to start holding it in place just like that. Keep on getting some and keep on going around. Use packing tape right there. Just like this, and we're gonna keep on going around, putting a little sliver of tape every now and there to hold it in place just like that. Then once we're done wrapping it, we'll come with hot glue and apply hot glue in the areas where the tape meets the LED lights. Do not put the hot glue on the actual pool noodle because it'll start melting it. So make sure you put it right here, you put some over here, you put some right over here just to give it that extra strength that you'll need. To finish wrapping our lollipops, all we're gonna do is after we've come along the edge and we come right over here, Bam, we start wrapping it nice and tight. There's still a lot of LED rope light left, so we're just gonna keep on doing this all the way down. And you're gonna see how you have enough to cover the entire lollipop staff. For the end, all we did was wrap it with the same tape we used on the top, just like over here. And if you wanted this to not move and stay a certain type of distance, wrap it with tape, wrap it with tape. It's good for the outdoors, it'll survive. That's how we do it. All right, so now we've finished doing the taping and the glue, now we get our cellophane. So I'm gonna link the cellophane, like I link everything else in the description. We were just gonna cut off a healthy piece and stretch it out just like this, and then bring it to the back like that. And then we're gonna wrap a bow probably right over here and then use the same tape we used to tape these sides down just like that. Tape it down, tape it down. And that way it looks like it's a typical lollipop that has that protective wrapping on it, but it also protects your lollipop, which gives it a longer life. So just grab yourself a bow, I have one here just like this, and then we can attach it right over here and then we're done with our lollipops. To finish it all off, we need to get a two foot or four foot rebar and we're going to hammer it into the ground. And then we're going to grab our PVC lollipop. This is just for demonstration and it's gonna go over it just like this so that it'll stand firm during the cold wintry weather. This always works for me. Just make sure you drive it into the ground really good. Um, that's why I like using a four foot rebar instead. Once you drive it into the ground, Lollipop, bam, and you're good to go.